what is going on guys welcome to today's video today we're going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called game party so this is an awesome party system for your players on your minecraft server and it's just more it's, it's much more than just a party plugin where your players can party up there's leveling to it and your players can earn shared xp which is really cool so like let's say i'm a player and i'm in a party and i start farming and earning the xp from it well so do the other players in that party so they start earning the same xp that i do so it's really cool go ahead and download the plugin drop your plugins folder and then restart your server let's go ahead and get started by showing you. all right so i got my boy todd right here and the command is all in a gui so your players can use this it's slash game party hit enter there we go we got the party menu so a lot of these are, you know, options that are not available until we have a party. So the first thing that we want to do is create a party. And obviously with the parties, there's like friendly fire and all that other stuff too. So input the name. So this is a really cool feature. You can just enter, you know, the options for your party in the chat. So into the name, let's go with Unoverse because you know. <laughs> all right, let's go back into the slash game party menu. Now we have a new option. We have the stats. There's the XP, how many members, who's the co-leader, who's the member, all that cool stuff. You have the list party, so all the available parties and you can request to join one as well. And if people request to join your party, all the applications will appear here. So you can click on that and then this will show the members. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get Todd in here. Now on Todd's screen in the game party menu, let's go ahead and go to the list. So as you guys can see, there is one current party that's Unoverse, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and click on it to, you know, request to join. And in the chat, as a, you know, an owner of that party, they'll get the notifications. They'll get all the messages saying that this player wants to join. Let's go into slash game party. Let's go into the applications. Here's one. It's Todd, shows this, this and that. Let's go ahead and just accept them. All right, so if Todd were to hit me, as you guys can see, I do not lose any health. That's due to friendly fire, pretty cool. Also, let's go ahead and go back into the game party. So your players can also use the command slash game party promote. <laughs> and then a really cool thing is when you don't type in the player name, a weird noise goes off. Pretty sure that's an ender dragon. Anyway, so let's go ahead and type in Taw's name here. Bam, now he is co-leader. So that is awesome. So for the command leader, I set the command as slash fly. So when I execute that command, other players will be able to type that command in and use it for themselves. So it's kind of like a permission giving system in a way. So if I were to type slash fly, okay, I have to do it again one more time. So there we go, it's enabled and it should be enabled for all the other party members as well. As you guys can see in the chat, I am now able to type slash fly. So there we go. Now I can fly just like that because in the chat it says your leader offered to execute command. And there we go. So if you guys did enjoy this plugin tutorial, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.